Maya. And we're Tweaks. Tween. Twin. Geeks. Today we are here to review the comic book series, Bad Machinery. It won the British Best Comic Book Award in 2012 and, in 2013, the Publishers Weekly Best Book for Children. Love these books, but they are colossal. I wish they were smaller so it would be a more comfortable read. It's not that the number of pages is big, it's just really hard to read. Bad Machinery is a comic book series about British kids who solve mysteries. Their names are Jack, Linton, Sonny, Shauna, Mildred, and Charlotte. The first book is called The Case of the Team Spirit. It's about the girls trying to help an old Russian woman keep her home while a businessman is trying to build a football or soccer for us Americans stadium over her home. Meanwhile, the boys are trying to help the businessman shake a evil spirit that's been haunting his family. The second book is called The Case of the Good Boy. This time, there is a toddler stealing beast roaming the city of Tackleford, England. <laughs> I want to live in Tackleford. The boys are determined to catch the beast, while the girls are determined to protect Shauna's new dog, Archie. There's a third book coming out soon called The Case of the Simple Soul. My favorite character is Mildred because she has unicorn spasms. Unicorn. <laughs> My favorite character is Charlotte because she's got a really laid-back attitude, but she doesn't take nothing from nobody. I personally wasn't a fan of the boys and their mysteries because they were dry and boring at times. And another reason is probably because they were talking about a lot of boy things and used a lot of British terms. And even with the helpful glossary in the back, I couldn't figure out what they were saying. I agree with her, but some of their stuff is pretty funny. It would have helped if we had our British friend Alfie come and help us read it. Alfie, come over here and read it! Tell us if it's confusing to you. My favorite part in the first book was when the old woman got to keep her home. It was really sweet and I literally liked her. My favorite part was when Mildred goes over to Sunny's house to play video games and she immediately chooses Unicorn <laughs> Frenzy. The second book was definitely my favorite. Mine too. I would recommend these books for kids 9 and up. It's not that it's inappropriate, but there are some jokes that kids younger wouldn't get. This book is also good for kids who like Sherlock, Nancy Drew, The Hardy Boys, or Sarah Jane's Adventures. So go read it! It's a really good book! We picked up a bunch of stuff at WonderCon, so stay tuned for our next review. That's all for now!